Welcome to West Coast Finest. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you do not miss any of our new videos. Yes, click the link below to visit our website and get your order in for our GNG hair growth butter. Yes, it is made with 100% all natural ingredients. And yes, it's me, your girl T, dropping another video. She said, you know, we're going to have to work for it because, mm -hmm. you know, this is our first. My daughter's the first time my baby. Wow. Wow. So you had already had the, the transplant <laughs> when you had your first baby? I had it after I had my heart transplant and I had my baby, which is the not something they allowed. They to be here. Wow. The first transplant recipient baby. It was mm -hmm. weird to have a hospital as a home, but it definitely, you know, it's a home for the Jones for That's where I was born. That's where my mom got full hurting life. So San Francisco is definitely a special home for us. Without my daughter being here, I would have my grandson, Jonah. So we're out there, and Dr. Shaw doing his miracle work. Mm -hmm. Three generations would not be here. It's kind of big. <laughs> to the world of that stage, heart disease. It makes me incredibly proud to have been here. Well, that's my team. That's my team. Wow, that's your whole heart team. That's my whole team. Wow. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I gotta watch it again. We gotta do a rewind, repeat. Wow. You did that commercial four years ago. We first aired Super Bowl Sunday. Wow. No, it was some Academy Awards. Oh my goodness. My dad called and he said, I just saw you on TV. I'm like, for what? <laughs> He was like, how come you didn't tell me you were doing a commercial? Okay. I'm like, for what? So, I really so he said, watch the TV, watch the TV. You gotta watch it. And so I was like, hey, 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 hey. come, we're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and for the awards, I know they was playing that over and over. And the, uh, the commercial lab, they played that same commercial for over and over. a month. Wow. So what they were doing, they would pick a new person and they would air their story for a month. They have saved my life not only once, but twice. They've also given my daughter. Yeah, see, my daughter was pregnant with my Oh, granddaughter. she was pregnant was then. Wow. <laughs> so when I got pregnant, I went to Dr. Sharon Hunt and I said, can I keep it? And she said, you know, we're going to have to work for it because, you know, this is our first. I had 28 people. They told me my daughter could be born with five, what, six fingers? She was standing room only. Really? Or she would be born with... On a funny day, uh, and I told everybody, what Because of the transplant? Well, because of all the medications I take. Oh, and they said, no, okay. they want to be here. And I could um, also, she could also be born with a curved spine. And I tell them I didn't care. Good for you. I wanted a child. Yeah. 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 It makes me this is proud amazing. To have been here. I love my entire. That's, That's my entire team. They keep me alive. Everybody. Mm, mm, mm. Without them, I would not be here. Wow. So I'm wondering why they never offered my husband a heart transplant. Because it seemed like he should have just been able to get a new heart. Since that one was all messed up. And, and they said really that his came from to to um, the strain that he put on his heart from having high blood pressure months, you know, untreated for um, so long. With so like when you have high blood pressure, pressure it makes your heart work harder mm -hmm. and pump mm -hmm. faster. Mm -hmm. Will kept mm -hmm. stretching and tearing and, uh, the 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 lining and stuff mm -hmm. around it and on the sides and stuff kept stretching and tearing because he wasn't treating the high blood pressure. Till one of them just burst. It just stretched until it just so burst. Do my best, but I know I can't measure up to Jerry. But it'll it'll be my honor to try. 
So, the one um, thing I found out with these doctors is you have you to this. be real adamant of what you want mm -hmm. to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can't just let them say, oh, well, this is what you should do. Or shouldn't you have to tell them, you know, well, how about this? Well, can I do this? Like you said, you went to her, to your doctor and said, well, can I keep my baby? Mm -hmm. I want to keep, oh, well, she's going to have this and she could be bored. Well, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I still want to keep her instead of letting them decide, oh, no, we don't think you should because mm -hmm. you're going to have to make your own choices and tell them what you want this is my, I, or don't want. My daughter was my third pregnancy. Third. The first two, with all the medication I was taking, I would get pregnant and after a while my body would find it a foreign entity and kick it out. Mm. So when I was pregnant with my daughter, not realizing I was pregnant, I went on vacation with my sister and my nephews and we went to uh, Disney World in Florida and got to Disney World and got sick as a dog. Oh wow. And I was like, is it, you know, the heat and humidity out here? Is it the long plane ride? Good. What's going on? Didn't know. Got better. Got home. Went all about my day. Went to go visit my grandmother. She was here from me then. I went to go visit her. She took one look at me. She said, you're pregnant. I said, Grandma, you sure? <laughs> Ain't that something my grandma's be knowing? <laughs> She like, said, girl, I know her. Girl, you can probably said that <laughs> they told me I wouldn't, wouldn't keep none. That's grandma. I'm not ready for a baby. Going about my business. She said, just, just wait. Going about my business. One day, me and my mother, we were um, going to Walmart. We passed Kentucky Fried Chicken. Then pass that Kentucky Fried Chicken and just need to stop the car and hurl. <laughs> and I thought, what the heck is this? What is going on here? And my mother was like, are you okay? I'm like, I don't know. I just all of a sudden got sick. Sick. Violently sick. So my mother said, maybe you should take care of me. Don't mom, stop playing. I'm a trip. She said, well, will it hurt? Okay. The pregnancy test was, oh my god. Grandma's like, she in the door, she said, you're pregnant. What? It's <laughs> tripping. Mm. Mm. So I had to go to staff and see if I could keep it. Wow. And I my doctor say, if we gonna keep it, you gonna have to work hard. I said, okay, I'm willing to do it. Yeah, for my baby. Mm -hmm. I had to go, I had to be bedridden. Because my daughter was, she was a pain in my butt and my stomach. She had to be bedridden. Wow. And they had to alter stuff. I had to stop taking my med. I couldn't do x-rays. No way. All the hard work she had done to get out of the NICU and had to start all over again. Mm. All mm. over. Mm. Did you? Call the Monique rule. Cause oh, named after her. Because they had to put it in. That was part of the story. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Like, uh, yeah, because that's somebody's life. You know, yeah, that's her life. And like mm -hmm. you say, she had did all this fighting. First of all, Mama did all this fighting with her own life. <laughs> and then come down to her life, she did a lot of fighting, and y'all did all that hard work to get her here. And then here you go, <laughs> 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 she had, I had to fight to get. I had to fight for my life. A miracle, to baby! Oh, two times. So I was like, oh. and then they were like, "Would you like for us to transfer her to a hospital near you?" Nope, y'all made the mistake. Y'all will make sure she walk, she gets out of here. Mm -hmm. So that I was good. Up. You stayed with that because then they'd be like sending her somewhere else, mm -hmm. and then they don't know what they mm -hmm. doing, and they'd like, be like, "Oh, well, it ain't our fault because she came here with." We yeah. stayed there. I wind up after getting better and get released. I stayed at um, um, an apartment across the street so that I can go there for her every feeding and see her every day. Yeah. So we stayed. I stayed there for a month, and then she got to the point where she gained enough weight to go home. I called my mom. I said, "Mom, we're coming home." 
Uh, he said you're coming home. I said she has finally gained enough weight to come on. And we're home. coming home. Because I kept my car, so like, you know, I kept my car so I had to go do what I gotta do. So I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta hurry up and get a car seat. I gotta get a car seat. Yeah, Why don't I go so get a car seat? Coming home. My baby coming home. <laughs> Got a car seat. Stanford came out to make sure the car seat was put in correctly. Right. <laughs> and we came home. Came on home. Mm -hmm. Bless her heart, too. Cause mm, mm, mm. I had to learn, you know, I was, thank God I lived with my mom that up to time, was learning how to give a premium bath. And, oh, that was it. Right, and she was your first and after last and only. <laughs> only. Yeah, that's quite a bit. So that's what I said, you know. They gave me life, they gave my daughter life, they gave my grandkids life. Mm -hmm. I go nowhere. I don't blame you. Definitely not going nowhere. I do not go anywhere but separate. I don't care. I could be in pain, I'd be like, I'll be alright, let's just go. Mm-hmm. Just get me there. Let's just go, get it over with. Mm, mm, mm. I still can't get it. <laughs>